Hi, I'm Gidget with the Graham team here with our year in 2021 market housing update. Many of our clients are asking us how we anticipate inflation to impact the housing market come 2022. Top of mind for all of us as consumers is how much we're paying more each and every day for the basic needs of life. Inflation is impacting the cost of food, transportation, medical expense, and of course, shelter. We'll take a snapshot of where 2021 is going to end up as well. So let's start with the year-end results for 2021. Currently, our median sales price for a single-family home is $420,000. That's a year-to-year -year increase of 21.7% of appreciation. At this time, we have 0.9 months. That means less than one month of inventory. So obviously, the laws of supply and demand are impacting our housing market. So where do we anticipate housing prices to head in 2022? We're going to look at several factors that we feel are going to impact the housing market. Interest rates, inflation, the millennial buyers, affordability, construction supplies, and labor shortages. So let's start with the largest elephant in the room that I think is going to have the biggest impact on affordability in 2022, and that's interest rates. Just last week, the Fed announced that they're going to taper back dramatically their purchase of the mortgage-backed securities. That's the 30-year mortgages that all of us use to purchase our homes. But in addition to their tapering that they anticipated, they also announced that they're looking at three rate increases through the Federal Reserve Fund next year. That was a surprise to many in the market. So we anticipate, based upon that information and the analysis that came out just quickly after, of course, everybody has not had time to evaluate that at this point in time because it's only been a few days, the rates could be rising to the record lows of the low threes to closer to 4% year in 2022. Of course, inflation is what drove the Federal Reserve to make the announcement last week because November's numbers came in substantially higher than what was anticipated at 6.8%. Over the last 10 to 12 years, we've not seen inflation anywhere near that. And if we look at the last 50 years, any time inflation got above 5%, we did see a dramatic increase in interest rates. With the basic cost of everyday life raising, rising, people will have less money in their pockets to spend on, of course, non-essentials, but even on housing. So how does the housing market get impacted? Two things, affordability, people's ability to make the payment, people's ability to afford the rising house costs because of the rising production costs, but also interest rates are making it extremely challenging for clients that the rates go up from three to 4%, the amount of money their purchasing power will obviously decline. The next big impact to the housing market will be the millennial buyers. According to Realtor.com's 2022 national housing forecast, 45 million millennials are entering the prime time for their first purchase of a home. They're between the ages of 26 and 35. Homes below 400,000 will have strong demand, therefore making it a challenge for these millennials to purchase their home next year. Moving on to the last topic we feel is going to hit the housing market in 2022 is the construction supply shortages and new home starts. The National Association of Home Builders reported that 50% of the home builders are reporting a shortage in supplies in the range of 21 to 24%. They're also reporting a three month backlog. Last month, Lenar, last week, I'm sorry, Lenar reported that they're going to miss their fourth quarter earning projections. Again, not due to demand because they have a huge amount of demand, that was due to supplies, due to unprecedented supply shortage changes, stalling production, as they reported. In Southern Nevada, we're not immune to this. We've seen our clients. New homes deliveries be pushed back due to foreign shortages, appliances not being delivered, and finishes not being ready. That will also impact new home starts because builders are not able to deliver product. They're not going to start the next phase of construction. So taking all those four topics and putting them into a nutshell, the one item that I feel is going to be an issue for next year in 2022 is going to be affordability. National home prices rose 25.3% in 2021, and with the projected increase in interest rates of a half a percent to three quarter percent, and with inflation taking money out of everyone's pocket, it's going to be challenging uh, for the home buyers to get the home that they desire for the budget they were shooting for. However, the lucky thing for Southern Nevada is that we have a lower cost of living than our neighboring state in California, who continues to send home buyers our way. So, what does this all this information mean for the housing prices for 2022? Well, first, none of the most influential economists in the housing market predict a depreciation coming next year, but rather most of them are showing some sort of appreciation in the range of 2.5% to 7.4%, with the median being about 5.1%. My projections are that we're going to be somewhere in the 5 to 6% range, simply because of supply. We just do not have enough supply in the market. 
Why do I not anticipate a greater amount than that? Is because of the affordability that we covered earlier. With the rising costs and the rising inflation rates, I think it's going to impact some buyer's ability to purchase. This graph provided by Realtor.com kind of gives you a global aspect of the United States housing market and where they anticipate the greatest growth markets to be for appreciation. As you can see on this graph, they're anticipating Clark County to be in the 4 to 6% range. So right in line with, with the projections we talked about from the other economists. Inventory is obviously the biggest driver. The national housing inventory is at historical low levels, with November 2021 being at 23% below 2020 and 42% down from 2019, which is our pre-COVID figures. There is no indication or relief in sight that inventory is going to rise of any significance in 2022. Again, in Southern Nevada, we're at uh, 0.9 months of inventory right now, and in our lowest levels were 0.6 in June of this year. So we anticipate that inventory is going to be the big issue for 2022. The other item that we watch is days on market for a home. How long it takes for a home to go under contract. As you can see from this graph, we looked at a three-year period, and in November of 2021, 77% of the homes sold in less than 30 days. That means our market's moving quickly. And if you find a home right now, you saw how quickly it goes. If you're selling a home, you got the advantage of seeing how quickly your home sold with multiple offers. But we anticipate the days on market to stay relatively short through the rest of 2022. You might see it move just a little bit as affordability becomes an issue. It's just not home buyers that are impacted by this. Our home renters are also being impacted. Both national rental markets and the Southern Nevada rental markets experiencing exploding rental rate, rate, rental rate growth. The rental rates are approaching levels that are matching or exceeding home ownership costs. According to CoreLogic in their single family rent index for 2021, the single family homes have reached the highest level ever recorded by them. So this is going to be an issue that's impacting both affordability on the purchase and on the rental. It's so lucrative right now that we're seeing the, the largest home apartment builders in the United States enter the single family homes market single family rental home market by building entire tracts of rental homes. And so they're not for sale, bringing less demand or less supply to the market. So it's taking up those limited supplies that there are. And so it's not going to be for sale, but instead it's going to be tracks that are going to be for lease. What's the grand team's takeaway for 2022? A strong housing market ahead with a very slight increase in inventory. And that's only because affordability becomes a factor. We expect to sell more homes in 2022 than we did in 2021. And we are more and alignment with appreciation to be in the 5% to 6% range, as I mentioned earlier. Many of our buyers are asking us, is this again the right time to purchase a home? Yes, some of our clients asked us last year, and they probably are looking back and going, yes, I missed out on that 21% appreciation. Uh, of course, we are not going to see 21% appreciation this year, I don't think. So let's go back to those core fundamentals. You should be asking yourself, can I afford the monthly payment? Do I have the down payment sufficient to make the purchase? Is the home... Will the home meet my family's needs for the next two to three years? With the help of my grand team advisor, have I found the right community that best fits my lifestyle, the way I live, where I want to work, where I want to live and enjoy? Am I comfortable with appreciation in that four to five percent range? Do I want to own my home? Do I want the pride of home ownership? And do I see home ownership as a critical part of my retirement plan? I mean, do I want to own my home outright or have a home purchase outright with a reduction of principal payments as I go along and appreciation increasing the value? So those are the core fundamentals I suggest you look at as a home buyer, whether or not right now is the right time for you to purchase. Uh, for our sellers, what is our advice? Um, if it meets your schedule and, of course, your family's needs, we suggest you get ahead of the curve on those interest rate increases. Uh, the biggest bang for your home is going to come from when there's the most amount of buyers buying for your home. And as the interest rates rise, I mean, some buyers are going to be taken out of the market because they're not able to afford that payment because their income has not risen to the same levels that the interest rates has risen. So you're going to see some buyers dwindle down. So I think we'll see less offers on homes um, the second half of the year than we are in the first half of the year. So if it fits within your schedule and, of course, your family's timing, which is most important, then I would suggest getting ahead of that curve. So on behalf of the entire Graham team, thank you for allowing us to share this information and data with you. We hope you find it valuable. It is our desire to be a real estate advisor for you, providing you information so you can make well-informed decisions whether you're purchasing or buying or just want to know what's happening in your community. We'd love to be a resource for you. So we hope this holiday season you're taking time to enjoy those special moments. We wish you guys the very best. We hope that those who celebrate Hanukkah, belated happy Hanukkah, for those celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas, and for the rest of you, happy holidays. And may your 2022 be filled with much blessings.